just like to say, Mr. English here, and um, I'm talking on my lawsuit where I've been with the authorities on their discrimination against me for being Jewish and their discrimination for being a human, um, accusing me for a fire that I've caused that I didn't do. Um, also been in debt £25,000 and my solicitors who were paid off not to do my case properly and I'm just going to read a letter with what they've responded to me after I said I'll take legal action. Um, so this is what they say. So this is WTB Solicitors, Manchester Longsight, Stockport Road. It says, your complaint, dear Mr English, your complaint. My name is Chris Bryan. I am the person at WTB Solicitors who deals with complaints. I received your letter of complaint on the 1st of February. I'm very sorry that you feel that you have reason to complain about the service you have received from my firm. I enclose a copy of complaints, Prodigy. Once I have obtained your file of papers from Mr. Taylor, I'll give you an estimate of how long it will take to deal with me with your concerns. I should have your file within the next two to three working days and will then write to you again. So it's been over a month and it's not written to me. So they've sent me with that letter, um, like, like the Law Society firm or the Ombudsman who deal with complaints and what they can do. Now, I'll tell you straight, there's no way I'm using the Ombudsman and there's no way that I'm, 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 I'm going to be going down with them, the Law Societies. I'm going to be suing them. I've got a lawyer and I'm ready to sue. I'm in debt with £25,000 and a technicality from a lawsuit where the paperwork should have been put in straightforward. Now, I've got a racist letter where they've tried to fit to me saying, because you're Jewish, they didn't need that just there. I have to move back into the property. And they put me in with no electric. I've got a photograph here. Um, you know, that, that, that's my place there uh, with a wine bar, a little black glass wine bar, you know, just moved in, 22, 23. You know, boxer. This and that, money coming in. Girlfriends, wine bar friends. You know, I'm in my twenties. I'm 31 now, but anyway, city centre had the place fixed up, so it was nice. Um, so anyway, we're going to talk about Andy Harrison, who's an army officer, who's now a caretaker. And what's he going to say? Because I'm exposing you bastards. I'm exposing this. Because I'm still taking this to court. I've got you all documented. Don't think you're getting away with this one. Not on my watch. It says here, Andy Harrison, who is an ex military police officer, taking the photographs as he does do to gather information. And on Saturday, the 9th of April 2011, the fire occurred within the property. The fire was extinguished by the fire service, but not before the, the, the property was extensively damaged. At half past nine, Monday, 11th April 2011, Office of Defence attended the property to assess the damage. Attending with Mr. Harrison, caretaker, Miss Joanne Lindley, housing officer, and Mr. Glenn Jones, service, upon attending the property, they said they noted the following, you know, the door's been damaged, the property's been left open, um, and, you know, it's a serious smoke damage as well. But it goes on to say here, that Aris, Mr. Harrison, who took photographs of the property, had the contacts of particular photographs to take around the seat of the fire, which were televised, set, and be located the jets, electric sockets to sockets. This guy here, Mr. Harrison, caretaker, ex army, says he gathers information. He's fitted me up with the council. Knowing full well the fire report's done their job. They've used them photographs to say I've caused the fire. I've got an expert to say I've caused the fire. Three years after the fire has been done, after Glenn Jones used the fire report two days before I attended the property to gain £18,000, the fire report's already been used to gain money. 
if they've used it to gain money, knowing that it wasn't good or not. It's fraud, corruption and deception. So Mr. Glenn Jones, you're a liar at Salix Holmes, Salford Council, the Manchester Council liars, and Harrison, you're an army officer. You've probably fitted other people up as well because they said you was a fucking specky twat and didn't like you. You're a fucking liar. You people need to be dealt with seriously. But I'm suing. I'm suing because I'm fighting. And I found out that it's not just me. The the council are anti-Jewish. I've got a letter on a crime woman saying you're Jewish for electric. I went to see, uh, you know, Ian Stewart, the mayor. And he told me that He's Scottish and he gets it as well, you know. He's a foreigner in England. What's that got to do about being with the Jewish faith or being Jewish and living in England? What's that got to do with it? All anti-Semitic people, and they've got an anti-social policy where Jews are not liked or wanted. And it's not just against um, Jews in that respect. It's against anybody who has human rights knowing this is England. And we don't allow this. But I've been fitted up for a fire, but I'm living back at the property. And a lot of my stuff's gone, and I've been a bit more religious since then, but I'm still fighting this case all the way now. I've got a lawyer now where I'm ready to sue my solicitors because they responded to me with a letter, and they've got a, a less than two weeks to, 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 to solve this, and then I can overturn the case and get back into court. If not, I've got to take legal action, which I am doing now. I'm not using no government funded uh, bullshit. I've done all this paperwork myself. I just need help just be on the suing with the 120 grand I'm asking for, plus to get my case back into court because it's against, it's against human rights and it's against Jewish rights as well. I don't know if we're living in the Holocaust or the war. Where I live, it's like a Nazi state. It's like I'm not just as a boxer now, I'm seen as a Jew, as a Jew, you know. My mother's side was Jewish, you know. So anybody knows me. It, it, how I've come back, you know, I thank God, I don't, I don't turn back my faith, but I've been attacked for being Jewish, and I'm suing them, and I'm still fighting them, and it does play up on my mind a lot, a lot of times, it's because uh, it's, it's, it's corruption, I've been watched 24-7, they're watching me, you know, they send the police round to my place, they, they've been sending the commute polices, I've got next door neighbours phoning the police when, when if I'm using electric, when I was living electric, I've just had to soldier all this through, from losing all my belongings, from having no way, um, but to survive, but to, 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 to sue them. And the only way they was trying to do it with me was, was put me to crime or blame it all on me. But I couldn't take the blame for this fire. And I could have died. And I can't, I, can't, I can't turn my back on that. I can't turn my back on that. So Glenn Jones, you're a liar. I'm exposing you. Ian Stewart, you're a fucking idiot. You're a mayor. I'm exposing you. Leanne, um, you know, Leanne Jones, I'm exposing you. Um, you know, well, Joanne Lindley, sorry, I'm exposing you. And um, obviously Andy Harrison I'm exposing you because I've got all your names on the paperwork and Glenn, I've got your name on that fire report that you used it to gain 18 grand and then you're denying it and then saying I didn't have much of the place after it was damaged by the fire. No, I, I fraud stuff. You shouldn't be working in that job. You should not be working in that job. And the Labour Party people who live where I live, they are Nazis. And I'm gonna write them a letter. How does it feel if your race has been attacked? How does it feel if your religion's been attacked? How does it feel if someone stole something of you? Would you like that if that happened to you? How would you feel? You know, I'm going to play that with them with, with the letter, what I'm going to send them. And I'm going to record that as well, because I will not give up. Mr. English is not giving up. I'm a fighter. I fight for anybody. I'm a people's person. Whatever if they want to bad mouth about me, let them bad mouth me. Because I'll tell you straight, the truth and the facts don't lie with the paperwork I've got. You know, at their day, I'm taking on people in the government who are, who, who are anti-Jewish with what I've been found out and with what I know with the racist letter. Jewish faith don't need electric, so they want to evict me. They tried to put me in rent arrears. Um, they paid my solicitor off so we wouldn't take the, the, the case to court and it got struck out. So I had to sack him to save the case, otherwise I was going to lose my property. Got it with £25,000 debt. Because at the end of the day is... Ben Taylor, the WTB solicitors, I've got all the big cases in Manchester, only because of me, only because of me, so he's living off my name, with champagne, off my name, so either day, he's corrupt, Glenn Jones, 
corrupt. I'm fighting you all the way. I'm fighting you all the way. But stay tuned. I'm fighting next week anyway. I've got a boxing fight, so I'll be ready for that. But love Israel. Um, God bless um, England to a certain extent. We've got to stay strong and, and, and show people that we will not back down. We will not back down.